everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in today's video I have some pretty exciting news, and that's because I ended up making a bin cage. So for those of you who don't know, a bin cage is basically just a bin that has holes cut out of it and mesh put on, and it can work as a cage. In the case of rats, it's usually a temporary cage. So yeah, this cage here is completely temporary. It's just something I'm going to use when I need the rats to be out of the way when I'm doing cage cleanings because, well, their previous cage they were staying in is kind of tiny for five rats. So what I did here is I actually recorded every step of me making this and I thought I'd share it with you in this video. So to start off, I chose a 27 gallon bin and well, that's just because it was the largest bin I had available. I mean, if you go to Target or Walmart or any place that sells bins, you can probably find this size or even larger. For example, I have a 32 gallon bin, but it's already made into a bin cage, so wouldn't really work here. So yeah, I chose my 27 gallon bin and then I cut out holes on every single side. Now a lot of people will say, okay, you only need to do two or three sides and this is definitely true, especially if it's only a temporary cage, but I decided to just go the whole mile and ventilate every side that's available, except for the bottom of course. So I'm pretty confident in saying that this cage is probably as well ventilated as my wire cage, which is really nice, especially if I have to leave them in there for what, like two or three hours while I'm cleaning the cage. So then I used my Dremel to make large holes on every side and after that I ended up using it to make little indentations all around these large holes and initially what I was going to do was I was going to zip tie my mesh on. However, then I had a better idea and I decided to use the wire that comes wrapped around the mesh in order to keep it in place. I thought, well, this is going to be harder for the rats to chew and not only that, but it might be more secure and it did turn out pretty well. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something other than zip ties. So yeah, I ended up making these little Dremel holes around each area and after that I had to cut out my mesh, which is unfortunately my least favorite part of this process but I had to use it to make this bin cage, so I just ended up taking the measurements from my cage and then putting them onto the hardware cloth and cutting them out with my wire cutters. So after I cut out all the hardware cloth, of course I had to actually put it on the bin, which was probably the second hardest part, and that's because I had this whole thing where I was going to weave in between the little Dremel holes I left for myself. So that's actually exactly what I did. I put the mesh on and then I weaved with my little wire through each hole in and out, in and out, you know. And then once I reached the other side, I just tied it off. So yeah, that was pretty good. It didn't look the best, but it definitely held in place, which is really all that matters. So after I did the first side, of course, I had to do the other three sides along with the top of the cage, which was actually the hardest because it has these little dips. But it's okay because I managed to do it, and after I tied off all of those and cut every single wire to size, I ended up covering all this wire with white Gorilla Tape. So it's interesting, I didn't even know I had this stuff at home, but it turns out I did. So I just ended up taking the tape and covering all the wire, both inside the cage and outside. So I just put some where the mesh meets the plastic of the bin, and I put it on the outside in the same place. So yeah, what we're left with is basically a bin cage that, in my opinion, looks pretty good. It has lots of ventilation, and considering that the bin I started with was a solid yellow and solid black, I think that this really lets in the light and lets you actually see what's going on inside the bin cage, which probably wouldn't be possible if I hadn't done all of the sides. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I don't know if anyone else has tips for how to make a bin cage, but this was my first time making one with a Dremel, and I have to say it's so much easier than making one with a pocket knife. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're thinking of making your own bin cage, hopefully it was helpful. I really think these bin cages are nice to have around just to be temporary homes, so it's nice to know how to make one, especially if you ever need a spare cage. So what you've been seeing on screen has been me decorating the cage, and now I'm going to leave you with the rats kind of exploring it. They were pretty happy with it. Cookie was disappointed by the lack of space. She thought she was coming out for a free range, but for the most part, they enjoyed themselves running around inside, and I think it's going to be a big hit when it comes to cage cleaning. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, you can check out my rat website at www.rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!